So I'd like to begin by saying that Satanism isn't actually the worship of Satan. You can watch or listen to this video and not become possessed by the end of it. Most people who do follow Satanism don't even believe in any spiritual entities, including the devil or a devil. And really, so the only reason the term may seem a bit frightening or misguided is because usually it's been associated in the Christian belief with non-believers, non-Christians or pagan beliefs, just different beliefs and then of course that connotation of it. But a part of Satanism itself is really just living life, a joyful life to the fullest in abundance and following wisdom and knowledge. You don't have to be evil or hate anyone to do this. In fact, if you lived your life this way, you probably want the same for more people. Self-belief and striving towards creating the life that one desires. If everyone had a particular time and place for the purpose of indulging in their personal desires without fear of embarrassment or reproach. They would be sufficiently released to lead an unfrustrated life in the everyday world. So there are nine principles in Satanism. Five of them I've got here, if you can see that clearly. And these are, Satan represents indulgence instead of abstinence. Satan represents vital, vital existence instead of spiritual pipe dreams. Satan represents undefiled wisdom instead of hypocritical self-deceit. Satan represents kindness to those who deserve it instead of love wasted on ingrates. And Satan represents man as just another animal, sometimes better, more often worse than those that walk on all fours because of his divine spiritual and intellectual development, has become the most vicious animal of all. Lastly on this topic, I'll explore four symbols found in not only in Satanism but also in other Gnostic, alchemical and various spiritual beliefs. So here we have, do you excuse my atrocious artwork? So for the pentagram, I just put a P in a box. Pentagram can be upright or inverted. The five pointed star represents the five elements, fire, water, air, earth, and idea or spirit. In some cases, the upright is masculine consciousness and the inverted is the female psychic realm. This reminds me of the video, the last video I did on duality and gender, which by the way you should watch if you haven't. And in other cases the inverted is seen as evil whilst the upright is good. Coming to the Italian horn, it represents good luck and the statement that goes with it is Satan will take care of your finances. The ang. Fertility rights and the building up of lust within a person. Lust is the power of this union. In some cases, the opening represents the female reproductive organ and the stem the males. Lastly, the bindu, also part of Bud Buddhism and Hinduism, represents the sun and a sun god and the creative spark of divine consciousness within people, linking everyone to the creative mind of a universal god. The bindu, or the dot, represents the male force. Together, the circle and the bindu symbolize the spiritual merging of male and female forces. 
ideas that can be found in settings that look towards or explore different types of beliefs that aren't considered the norm and are suspicious but generally the church of satan does not believe in anything essentially besides the self and creating the life the self what desires and things are mixed and matched based on various Jewish and biblical beliefs. Historically, Lydia was said to be Adam was said to be Adam's first wife who disobeyed him and fled the Garden of Eden. So she was the rebellious wife before Eve. The thief and murderer of and sexual seductive. In cases of both male relics and female relics. A demon, a dweller in waste places, to quote. Astrologically, she is, the black moon is our wild and uncivilized and true nature in essence. All things taboo, sexual fetish, wildness, and sometimes darkness. Though from an astrological standpoint, that it is neither good nor bad because everything is seen as neutral and subjective to your own perspective. The aspects and sign your black moon is in will determine how it manifests itself, represents itself, or hides itself personally in your case. Regarding the various connotations of 13, this number has personally always symbolized positive, quote unquote, and enlightening things for me. Cleans and purifies the passing of cycles, empty space where transformation happens, association with the womb and uncertainty. Jesus Christ and his 12 apostles, 13th, the 13th hour, that is the first hour, the place where the zodiac reel ends and begins again. The thirteenth chapter of Revelations in the Bible, which describes the Antichrist and beast and the beast. Misfortune depending on one's superstitions and various spiritual words add up to or are multiples of the number thirteen. Too many to list here. So, to end off, I am very excited to announce that I have released my new chapbook titled Of Lilith and Delilah. So this is a collection of poems that really goes into all the ideas and perspectives and histories I have been looking into in this Wild Soul series and just my stream of consciousness, studies and personal life experience as a woman, as a black woman as a rebel soul and an avid questioner and curious mind.